Every year, thousands of men are forced to undergo a biopsy to determine if they have prostate cancer, one of the biggest killers of Australian males. But a revolutionary scan could make the uncomfortable procedure near obsolete and even help men with cancer avoid unnecessary treatment. Matthew Henzel has long prepared himself to be diagnosed with prostate cancer. My dad passed away from prostate cancer uh, nearly two years ago now. And I've always assumed I was going to get it. Uh, and it was more a matter of when that was going to be. And in May, the father of two was told he had the disease. I was probably hoping it was going to be a little bit later than, than 45, but there you go. Your world just stops. Um, and you immediately go to worst case scenario. His diagnosis was confirmed with a biopsy, but because the cancer is considered low grade, Matthew isn't undergoing any treatment. But just active surveillance, which uh, is, it's a hard one. Um, knowing that the cancer's in there, like I'm a very proactive sort of person. I don't, sitting back doing nothing doesn't necessarily sit that well with me, but that is the advice. But a new type of scan is providing another weapon in the battle against the disease as a more accurate and less invasive way of diagnosing and maybe even managing prostate cancer. So we think this is going to really revolutionise the diagnosis of prostate cancer. It's called a PSMA PET scan. And if the PSMA PET scan is normal, then we don't do a biopsy, we just observe. And if the PSMA PET scan is positive, then we can enhance the biopsy by doing uh, a more directed biopsy to where we think the cancer is. Last year, more than 24,000 Australian men were diagnosed with prostate cancer and it claimed the lives of 3,500, making it the second leading cause of cancer death in Australian men. Researchers are recruiting more than 600 men Australia-wide to take part in a new trial in the hope of proving the PSMA PET scan is effective as a monitoring tool. If you have one of these more slowly growing, more benign type of cancers, they're sometimes best left alone and you don't want to have an operation that can leave you incontinent and impotent. Don't bury your head in the sand, and particularly if you have a family history of it. I've got two young kids. I've, um... I don't want to be leaving them sooner than I have to. Nicole Strawn for 10 News First.